these problems are asking us to find domain or find which values cannot be included in the domain. Now domain is the X values that are allowed in a problem like this. If any X values cause us to have division by zero, then that cannot be included in the domain. So that's always what you have for rational expressions like you have here. All you're gonna do for these two problems is you actually wanna find out what number cannot make the bottom equal to zero. Any numbers that make the bottom equal to zero are not gonna be included in the domain. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say this. Whatever's on the bottom, which in this case is x cubed minus x, whatever's on the bottom cannot be equal to zero. It's always what you're gonna do for rational expressions like this. You just take the bottom and you put not equal to zero. Then you wanna solve this, that's gonna tell you what values are not allowed in the domain. All right, so this one, we're gonna factor out an X, that's a common factor here. When you factor that out, you'll be left with X squared minus one inside the parentheses. X cubed divided by one X will give you X squared and negative X divided by X gives you negative one. Notice that's what's left over is something where we can use the difference of squares on. So we're not done with this yet. We wanna do one more factoring step. So X and X we have here, and then there'll be a one plus one and a minus one using the difference of squares formula. So now I have all these. So what I'm gonna do is every one of these things I'm gonna to set to be not equal to zero. So I have my first answer, X is not equal to zero. Then I wanna do X plus one is not equal to zero. X minus one is not equal to zero. I'm gonna subtract one from both sides here and I get that X is also not equal to negative one. Add one to all the sides here and I get X is not equal to one. So now I have three things that I found by solving three numbers that cannot that, that X cannot be equal to. If I put a zero in the bottom, a negative one in the bottom or a one in the bottom, that's gonna cause a zero. So I can't have that because I can't divide by zero. Uh, something divided by zero is considered undefined. So these would be the three numbers that I'm not allowed to use because remember domain, domain is talking about only the numbers that make the, the expression defined. Okay, so if anything makes it undefined, like dividing by zero, those are not included in the domain. So basically we say that X cannot equal zero, negative one, and one. So all three of those are numbers that are not included in the domain. Let's look at another example, similar type question. Now, so notice that for the last problem, I didn't do anything with the top. That's because it's okay for the top to be zero, it's just that the bottom cannot be zero. So in this case, Ignore the top, you're not gonna do anything with it. You're only gonna focus on the denominator on the bottom. So again, these kind of problems, you just take whatever is in the denominator and you're just gonna put a not equal to zero after it. And then we're gonna solve this. Okay, so this is another one that has a common factor. In this case, we have a common factor of two X. Two X divided by two X is a one. If a minus, and then this one here, you're just gonna get a X squared left over. Negative two X cubed divided by two X is a negative X squared, not equal to zero. And you can always multiply this back through to make sure you factored it correctly. And we did in this case. Now we're gonna take this, this is another difference of squares. So we're gonna factor this one now. One here, we can do one plus X, one minus X. In that order, we're putting the one first because the one appears first here. All those we're gonna set to be not equal to zero. And we're now going to solve that. And that's gonna tell us what numbers cannot be equal to zero. So this one, divide both sides by two, X is not equal to zero. Next, if we subtract one 
Here we get another answer. X is not equal to negative 1. This one, if I add the X to, the, to both sides, then I get that 1 is not equal to X. So on this, coincidentally, I happen to get the same answers as before. X is not equal to 0, negative 1, or 1. Those are the numbers that would cause division by zero. So anything that causes division by zero is not allowed in your domain. So any other number here will work. It's just that I can't put these three numbers in there. Otherwise I get division by zero. It would cause it to be undefined. And for domain, we only want the numbers that make the expression defined.